Okay, go up to the roof. Boing. All right, here we go. Hey guys, so before we start today's episode, I just want to tell you something that's pretty important. A lot of you guys are not actually getting notifications whenever I upload a video. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments about it. So, to sort of fix this, you can do this. You can go to my channel, you can click on the little bell icon near my subscribe button, and then you can go send me all notifications for this channel, and then hit save. And then you should get most of the most of the notifications, but we all know YouTube is just completely retarded sometimes, so I apologize if you still don't get any of the you know, notifications, but that should help with getting more notifications whenever I upload a video. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 77 of my MVP Let's Play series. So today, I wanted to use some of the specimens that we have obtained from last episode. So I want to impregnate myself with an octohugger. This is going to be fun. I've never actually officially done it. Um, I've done it in a spotlight, I think, to another creature, but I've never done it to myself. So, let's grab a Doctor Hugger. I also, in between episodes, I now put all my stuff away inside this ender chest. Um, because something that's been happening that's really weird, when I log in and out sometimes, sometimes I've got two versions of my Minecraft char character. Like, I'll load here sometimes, and then I'll load completely, s I'll load, like, at the spawn point of the world with a different set of items in my inventory. So I've just, at the end of every episode, I put everything back in my ender chest. So we're just basically going to carry around everything in a little ender pouch from now on. Cool. Okay. We don't actually need everything on us, um, but yes. Anyway. Uh, where's my armor? Let me get my armor. Okay, so I've never done this before. I am quite nervous, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> Never done this before. All right, let's chuck on the ring of magnetization. Let's get some food. Uh, there you go. Let's go downstairs. Um, actually, we wanted another safari net. Let's grab a safari net. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, we need to make a copy of this octohugger that we got. Alrighty. So, octohugger goes in there. Um, off equals on. Yes, this is on. Okay. So now we just wait. Holy shit, that's fast. <laughs> oh, jeez. And... Bam. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, okay, let's... Let's get this guy. Uh... <laughs> got it, okay. Um, now that I've got two samples of it, I'm going to leave this sample over here. And now we will spawn one more that we will impregnate ourselves with. So I'm actually sort of excited. I've never seen the impregnation process happen on me before with an octohugger. And bam. Okay, go up to the roof. Boing. All right, here we go. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm voluntarily doing this. Oh, it it happened. Did we? Yep, it happened. Okay. Um, visual visually, this is looking a little bit weird, but it happened. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, so essentially, now we just wait. I think. It would be cool if we could um, have a look at ourselves through the um, tactical helmet. I'm not entirely sure. I think we can, actually. Uh, I see nothing. Oh, there, there we go. On the bottom right. Type Beluga Burst, the vital time. Uh, 3 minutes and 30 seconds, approximately. Okay, then. Are you going to, like, get off me, or do I need to... Sure. Sure. Go away. I don't like you. You shall die now. Ow. Acid. Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, it just ate straight through the- wow, okay. Um, yep, that wasn't plastic. Good, good, good going, Yoland. Good going. Let's replace that with a bit of industrial wall. Oh, oh god, here it comes. Oh my god, that was fast. We're already at two minutes. Beluga Burster is coming out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Um, let me actually put away any of the stuff I got here. Okay. It's coming. One minute. Oh, shit. Let's um, actually... Shit, I can't see anything. 
Let's uh, go set ourselves up inside one of these um, containment areas. This one should be good. Okay. We're gonna... Time to explode soon? <laughs> I guess we just play the waiting game now. Oh god, we got 44 seconds left. The blood is going to start happening. I'm very scared. Oh god, oh god, here it comes. Oh no. Too much blood. Oh god. Oh god. If you have a look at the bottom left, my beats, my heartbeat per second, per minute is rising. Wait, no, yes, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the... <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay. Um, awesome. Okay. There was also an update to the server. I no longer drop my stuff when I die. Um, it was getting quite irritating. So, we don't have that anymore. Holy crap, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's uh, get rid of the death point. Wow. Okay. Here is the Bluger Buster. Nice. Alright. I'm going to chuck on my stuff again. And now we're going to wait for this little guy to grow up. And then we're going to clone him. And we will have a sample of a Beluga Morph. So once again, the Beluga Burster and the Beluga Morph and the Octohugger were all concept arts um, for the original script of Prometheus. So they're not actually in the Alien movies or comics, but they were, as, as I just said, concepts that were going to be in the movies. In, to, in, the, in the movie, I mean. Anyway, there's a lot of blood there. <laughs> Ugh. Can you guys see that little... Look, look, look at the little things on the back there. Well, that's so creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how long it takes for him to grow up, but we will be back for him in a moment. Uh, let me just... I love taking screenshots of this stuff and keeping it. It's amazing. Alright, we will be back. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this guy to grow up. Uh, something that I should probably do before that guy, guy grows up is I actually want to create a copy of the Beluga Burster. So I don't need to keep impregnating other creatures. Uh, hopefully it hasn't grown up yet. Please don't. Please. Please. Yes, okay, cool. I just want to quickly clone a copy of this one, um, so I have an extra copy of a Beluga Burster by itself. Uh, I also found that I think I was holding the spare quartz block all along. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's clone this little guy. Oh shit, where did I just chuck it? Okay. <laughs> not sure how long this one's going to take. Oh, not that long, that's alright. Cool. I will first grab this one and place it back down, wherever it was, so it can continue its growing process. And then we will take a sample of the clone. I love how creepy these guys look, um, compared to a normal chest burster. Like, the, the little limbs at the back, it's so creepy. Alright, let's go check on the blue burst and see how it's going. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's cake time again! I think it's the Portal Guns mod. Um, the Portal Gun mod's uh, birthday again. I remember seeing these guys in Season 2. I was so, like, I thought someone was placing the cakes down. It's that they weren't. <laughs> it's because the Portal Gun is turning, I don't know how old now, but anyway. Alright, how you going? You grown up yet? Probably not. You're just going to take forever, aren't you? Of course you are. So as I wait, I'm actually um, cloning the samples I got from last episode. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you what the Skullamer and the Eurysidae look up. Oh my god, they, those two cloned really fast. Jesus. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys what these guys look like up close. Because uh, we were so like excited and so pumped up to get these guys in Safari Nets while we were on Varda that we didn't really get to observe them much. So as you can see, they are really neat. Alright. Uh, you can go away, because I do not need you. Cool. I'll also show you the yours today. Or however, however, however the hell you say it. Okay, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> These guys spawn really quick. So here's the yours today. Looks amazing. I love it. Awesome. So we only need one of these. Um, we can get, kill the other one. Come back here. You are dead. Alright, uh, then we just got the deacon to clone. Oh, you know what we didn't get? Oh, man. There's um, something called the Deacon Shark on Vada that we did not get. We probably need to get that at some point. I wouldn't mind getting one. Um, 
Oh, why didn't I think of getting it? That's alright. We'll get it next time. Alright, let's go check on the beluga and see if it's grown up yet. Oh, yes, it has! Nice! Hello, buddy. Oh, you look creepy. <laughs> Ow! Jeez. Okay, um, let's put you in Safari now. Okay, cool. Guys, you want to post some name suggestions for the beluga? Uh, speaking of name suggestions, actually, um, a lot of you guys were suggesting Smog for the Draco, for the Draco Morph. I sort of like that name. It was e I was either going to choose Deathwing or Smog. Smog is off the Hobbit movies, I think. It's been a while since I've watched them, but um, and also Deathwing is off the World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft universe. But I'm going to go with Smog. We can name the first Dracomorph we had um, Smog. Okay. Uh, oh shit. I think I'm out of Safari Nets. Whoops. <laughs> I'll be back, buddy. Alright, now we've got copies of almost everything. Let's put everything in here. Uh, the Blueger Burst that we don't... I mean, the Blueger Morph we don't actually have a copy of. Alright. Cool. Alright. Awesome. So probably in between episodes, I'll put these guys in the Xeno Zoo. Um, well, I'll try to find spots for all these different things to go inside the Xeno Zoo. So, we just need to clone this guy, and then we are pretty much done on um, everything we need to get. Apart from the... There's, there's a few mobs we still don't have. I actually, for next episode, I want to do something that the Yacha are not going to like at all. I want to... I want to capture a Yatja, and I want to expose him to something that he should not be exposed to. Similar to what happened to Nanku, I have a feeling though that Nanku was a special case, and the form that he took on was quite unique. I have a feeling that if we were to mutate a Yatja using the black goo we got from Vada, we could, uh, we could create something insane. Anyway. Just a little spoiler for what we're going to be doing next episode, hopefully. You going to spawn or what? Yes. Okay, cool. And... Let's go get you. Cool. Alright. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. Um, as, as I just said, I, I am actually looking forward to secretly um, doing an experiment with a predator. I have to go find one. I think I already have some. I'll clone one, put him in a chamber. And we will experiment with... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening with the enderpearls? Last I checked, we had 3.2 million. How have we lost, like, 100,000 plus? Something's happening. That's okay. Anyway. um, Yeah, so next episode, we'll probably work on... Mutating a predator. Can't tell Nanku about it, because he is a predator, technically. So, he probably won't like it. Awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.